Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gaming Weekly Update. This is your host, Kieran, and welcome back to Let's Play Tomb Raider Legend. In this episode, we start this level, which is in England, King Arthur's Tomb. But so, yeah, this level I'm not the keenest on, and it's a little early in the day for me, but I just want to get this over and flipping done with, because I know this is one of the hardest levels. So, right, any further delay, let's jump straight into it. There seems to be a fine line between coincidence and irony. You sure about that map? Unfortunately, there was some nonsense about the discovery of the real King Arthur's tomb here years ago. Soon discredited. And yet another roadside attraction was born. Well, let's see what we can see, shall we? At least it should be educational. The housekeeping should be fired, or no one's been inside for months. Okay, and this is England. And, um, yep. Just gonna pull this back. Now, I can only assume that this is based in Cornwall, because that's where the original story of um, Merlin was, well, King Arthur was based in. This place has seen better days. Mm, it's been condemned since the death of the other one Professor Worth. I shudder to think that at one time he had students. But yeah, as you saw there, I picked up a bronze reward. And now we're just going to pull this lever here. And we have power. Yep, indeed we do. Now we got to get back, but whatever you do, for the love of God, don't drop into that. Just got to drop down to here. And then we gotta drop to that side. There we go. And boom. For the do. Yep, like the story of King Arthur, just go up to the sword and pull it to see if you're worthy to pick it up. There's no difference between stupid and charming with you, is there? Now, Alistair's a bit, I don't know, he's a bit meh. I don't know why he's acting this way, but... Anyway, there's the other bronze one. And, um... What we've got to do... Is, oh, uh, what do we do? Oh, yeah. We've got to go around here. As soon as we land here, we've got to jump back. Jump onto here. Jump back. Spin back. And jump through here. Agility. And we've got to shoot this. They're gonna come over. Oh, jeez. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but you can always just climb back up like this. Right. Jump on the boat, and then we gotta jump to here. And another bronze. I think this is a silver one, actually. Is this bronze or silver? There's a bronze. Alright, so there's nine bronze, there's five silver, and one gold. So, yep. We found three bronze so far. Right. Now. 
We'll pull this sword here. Before he does die, Arthur bade his knight Bedivere to return and fix Excalibur to yon lady of ye lake. And lo, this Arthur's body then slumber, and yea, it was borne away to Avalon, where it is said that from thither shall he someday return. Well, if he went to Avalon, then who's to supposed to be here? Maybe the grunting Saxon or the Roman fascist that Alistair believes the whole legend was built around. Hmm. This is where the truth behind the myth is supposed to be explained. It has been turned into a warehouse. Fitting. There's been so little truth everywhere else. Why start here? The only factual basis behind the King Arthur myths died centuries before this place was built. Give Professor Worth some credit. If he had to close an exhibit for renovations, at least he picked the most boring one. Okay, so what we've got here, this is a forklift, if you didn't notice. Um, it controls kind of awkwardly, so what you do is use the joystick to move it back and forth, left and right. And the the trigger buttons are to, to raise the forks, and the bumpers are to drop it, and I didn't mean to drop it like that. It just slid off the forks. But anyway, we can just get another one of these. The reason we're doing this is because the silver one is actually above this bit. All right, so gently pick this one up. Gently move back. We just want to drive just next to this one. So lift it up high. About to about here. Yep. It's because we're going to climb up here and grab this this must be our kindly professor's office space done up as spotily as his reputation said the pot to the kettle but yep that's what you're supposed to do all right now we gotta put this down and the second one the second silver one is easy to find because it's so satisfying to get uh, how many bronze do i have here yeah three so i should be up to date here now the next one's fun right through here just smash that tomb right there. The coffin. This definitely isn't Arthur's tomb. We knew that already. What's wrong with it? I've seen enough tombs in my life to know when I'm looking at a cenotaph. Say who? A diversion. This place is trying too hard. It's hiding something. A body? No. That's the problem. Okay, and now, as you saw, I smashed that um, coffin. And that's what gave me the second silver. So, what we do next is that we've got to move these boxes out of the way. And then we just got to smash this wall open. Now this is better. Really, Alistair? I have a velveteen touch. But I'm glad to see you now think there may be something important. There has to be a way to raise this door. Oh, I wonder. There we go. We'll just get that up. Just breeze past the level. Quick time event coming now. Decided to take the slow way down instead. Should have told that to the forklift. Yeah, the forklift's not important, Zip. Anyway, um, you saw five bronze already. That is crazy. But yeah, anyway, um, how do I jump over here again? Um, yeah, it's through here. Oh, want to be quick as well because these are going to collapse. Please, Alistair. This will take some concentration. Yeah, pipe down, Alistair. Or I won't let you sit up front with me anymore. And that's meant to be our reward, is it, Zip? There we go. And there's another bronze in here. Now, be careful, because I did a checkpoint before I picked that up. So, when if you die here, it's just going to bring you back down to this section. So if you die, it doesn't count as picking this checkpoint up. So you need to be careful. Right here. Grab the rope. Alright, so. 
Now, I'm hoping I don't have to do all this again. Right. Uh, oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Now, there's no way back up there. Oh, I have to do the entire level again. Bum. Unless somehow I can... I don't think this is going to be possible, but I'm going to test to see if I can do this. I don't think it's going to let me to, but I don't think it's going to allow me to, but one can hope and dream. Because I don't want to do this entire level again. Reach it, Laura. No, it's not going to work that way. No, I have to do the entire level again. Dang it. Right, we're back here and hopefully I don't die again because... This would suck to get back to. Right. We jump to this rope and... We are going to... Hey, come on, reach it. There we go. There we go. Oh, thank God. Because I am not doing all this again. This is... Oh, because you only get one chance to get that secret. I'm glad you made it down safely. So am I. But that doesn't mean you don't have to be quiet anymore. Right. Checkpoint. There we go. Confirmed it. Sweet. Oh... Looks like there's oil seeping into the water table. Who knows how long it's been burning? I wonder if the architect's design deliberately took this into account. There's your answer, Alistair. Wow. You know you're gonna ruin your boots. Not on the path I'll need to take. Because I never did know the timing for this part, so... So, yeah, that's about as good as I'm going to get it because I, I honestly have no idea how to time this correctly. It's quite, a, like I said, this is a tricky level. And I'm not just saying that because Brad's English. He's probably watching this being like, haha, never mess with England, Kieran. Oh, Brad's probably going to be laughing. He'll be like, meh, while he's watching this right now. But yeah, um, wait until that goes out and then there we go. Right. Maybe there's a way up and over. Yep, already on it, Lara. There we go. Now we've got to pull this lever. This looks like my garbage disposal. I hope you're not leaping through there, Lara. There must be a way to stop them up. I certainly hope so. Okay, we just got to use this metal crate to stop these blades. Not blades in like the Marvel character, Wesley Snipes. Um, the, the, the spinning blades that you just saw there. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. Um, okay, so pull this out. So you can either use the hook or push it, but either way, we'll get the job done. Right, because you need to get this second one here because there's a jump that you need like two boxes for in the, in a separate room. So pull that out and pull this out. Put it through the blades here. Stop. There you go. Now gonna pull this back and just push it along this one and as you can see there's another area with the fires but like i said the previous room with the fires i have no idea what the timing is for that so maybe someone will know in the comments like how to do that but i honestly haven't got a flipping clue how to do that i, I literally have no clue anyway we're gonna push this block forward stop the blades this is quite terrifying this bit there we go we stop those blades so we pull this box back then we just gotta push it along the box here right so 
I'm gonna be careful here because the Might have been worth trying just to hear you lads squeal about it. <laughs> oh, Lara. Now Lara's in troll mode. Okay, so. What we do, now that we got these two boxes, we gotta push them just far enough so that Lara can stand on that. Stand on here, and then we. Oi! Straight over it like that. There we go. Now we gotta pull this lever, I think. Do we pull this? Yeah, we do. Through here we go. And up these steps. And up these ones. Now. Um, yeah, I think we've got to come in here first. So. so. There's another secret up there. As you can see. Then we can grab this. What we're actually supposed to do is swing this chandelier to that great that cage over there to release this coffin. You see that crate up on the shelf over there? You could use that on the pressure plate. It's not a crate, it's a coffin. Someone's revered ancestor is in there. Hmm. <laughs> Laura acting like she don't even care. <laughs> Anyway, she slotted so many guys. Why, why would she start caring now? But anyway, um, got to use this to put it on that pressure pad right there. If Lara would just push the thing up. Hold on. Right, there we go. Don't know what difference that made, but whatever. And just pull it on here. And here's your final, final resting place, sir. If we're through having fun, it's time to get back to business. Okay, so we drop in here. There's going to be another one. Of these artifacts. Now, this is the eighth one, I think. Yep, the eighth one. Unfortunately, I know where the last two are, so... The last two silver. Not the last silver, the last two silver and the only gold. Zip and Alistair are just hilarious. But yeah, anyway, um, to get the next silver one, um, this coffin that we're basically using as a raft, um, when we come to this corridor here, we're going to have to drag ourselves up that way. Because there should be a ledge, as you can see right there, that has the thingy. So, just gonna grab this and pull ourselves forward. And just close enough so we can actually jump onto this ledge. There we go. Now, I think the coffin is gonna drag itself. Nope, it's not gonna drag itself back over there. It's not, no, not drag itself. It's gonna float its way back. But, um, I think there's another one down here. Yep. So, we can grab this. And pull ourselves down here. Because you actually got to jump over this grate here. Which is great, in my opinion. There we are. Hey, Just missed a waterfall. Okay, now... Um... Oh... I'm just trying to remember if this is even where all the all of them are. I did get that bronze one, didn't I? Yeah, I think I did. Will you look at that? Oh, this is brilliant. Hmm. That is interesting. Yeah, I know where the last ones are. I'm I'm good. I'm good. I'm just being paranoid because like I've made mistakes in the past. 
Right, so we pulled those lamps back because this requires some crazy parkour skills on Lara's part. So just jump forward and grab this. Jump and swing on that and jump for this. Jump on that and hacks. <laughs> okay, we climb up here and we've got to grab that chain right here. All the way up. Then we jump backwards. Final silver is at the back here. Right there. Is it the final? Yeah, it's final silver. So, yep, that's all the silvers. So, I know where the bronze is and I know where the gold is. So, we should be good to go. real. They're all here. The court of Camelot. You're sure about this? King Arthur, who washed verily of ye loins of Uther Pendragon? Hmm? I've no doubt about the authenticity of this tomb, Alistair. Arthur was the 11th century figure that became legend. The once and future king was as real then as the air I'm breathing now. I don't know, Laura. Excalibur. The sword in the stone. That's how it always goes, isn't it? Pardon? Swords in stones, Alistair. They're part of the monomyth. There wasn't just one Excalibur or one Merlin. We keep seeing swords and deuses all over the world because they were everywhere. So you're saying that everywhere they went, they raised up kings, shaping the course of human destiny? Well, it's a possibility. Who? And what happened to them and their swords? Perhaps they're in Avalon. It's as good a place as any. Except our Merlin was killed and our Excalibur was left in pieces in the hands of the locals. So where's Avalon? I don't know. On the other side of the looking glass, perhaps? And you just go to go to this one right here. It says Bedivere returned a fragment of Excalibur to Arthur after the other pieces were carried off by the knights. Where did they go? To find Avalon, perhaps. The quest for the Holy Grail. Lancelot, Galahad, Percival, and Bors. Their tombs are empty. It says this fragment was left with Arthur to help him leave this mausoleum when the time came. Perhaps it will help me instead. Okay, you're just going to drag it here. And then what we do... Well, before we do this, um, we got to swing that chandelier. And the reason we got to swing the chandelier is because that thing there is going to raise the bell up and then the chandelier knocks into it and rings the bell. So it's going to go ding-a-ling. Yep, things are happening. So, yep. Gonna run straight out there. And do what we have to do. And now, don't ask me what the heck that is. But that is, cre that is creepy, whatever that is. So, what you're gonna do is divert it with the vibrations. And then just drop these cages on its head. Kind of simple, but can be quite tricky if you don't know what doing. But I, it took me a while to figure this out too when I was practicing playing this earlier. But just keep shooting this. It'll vibrate and it'll divert the snake. Oh, or whatever the hell this thing is.
And then just drop it. Boom. Right on your head. <laughs> on your head. Right. Like I said, so maybe someone in the comments can tell me what this thing actually is. Because does it have any relation to King Arthur or any anyone like that? I... Right. Drop it on your head again. There you go. So just one left. And then that's it. So again, shoot, vibrate. And drop it. Uh, quick enough. There you go. Right, now that's dealt with. Um, we can basically just climb out of here. Just let its rotten corpse just do its thing. And I think there's another quick time event coming soon as well. So, yep. I think it's just after this bit. I think it's after this. Yeah, it's after this part. So, yep. Quick time event coming now. Just shortly. I think after this jump. Yep. Definitely is coming now. And that's that. So, what we got to do left. This is where you've got to go anyway, but as you can see, the bronze one is there. So, you're just going to come to the middle, jump for this rope, drop down, and then grab your prize. And then we can go where we need to go. So, we'll just come here. I think that's the last bronze. Is it the last? Yep. So, now, there's just the gold one. And the gold one... Like, still a while yet to get there, but I know how to get it. It's just a little, little confusing for some people if you don't know how to do. But yep. Pull this lever. Cage goes up. Slide down. I think there's guys here coming as well. Yep. Shoot them all, dude. <laughs> Shoot them all, dude. Right. Now. I think there's a guy that's going to drop down here. Yep. Just shoot you. He's got a health pack here, so I'm going to quickly grab that. Oh, dear. Get you as well. Yep. There we go. Okay. To get the final... The final um, relic, the, the gold one, um, push this box here first and climb up here and there's a door here that says one so you just push this all the way back until you can't push it any further more so until it stops that's where you can stop pushing so there's three doors in total so that's one that we've done and you have to do it in the exact order as well because I don't think the door's going to open if that's if you push them in the wrong order so that's one we've pushed. Number two is up here. I'm going to use a health pack now. So I can store up. And here's door number two. So again, like the other one, just push forward until you can't push further anymore. And then... No. Do I have... Uh, yeah, I have to climb down here. Right. Grab this. Turn it around. And stop the blades in its tracks. And then the, I think there's a guy that's going to spawn here as well. So. No, you don't. You don't now, you did. <laughs> you don't now, you did. Right. Pull you out. And. Luckily, we can actually use these to. To easily get past the things. 
But there is a guy that's on the other side here, so he's going to make it a bit bothersome for me. But um, it's not a big deal, I don't think. No, I, d I don't think it is anyway. Hold this back and then what we got to do is once again, we just do silly things <laughs> like that. Funny enough how that's not burning Lara. That's close enough to the, the fire, I think. Isn't it not? Uh, but like, like core design, uh, crystal dynamics is no better with its logic. But anyway, the other guy, where is the other guy? Okay, so we'll pull this one back and so yeah, basically we're going backwards on ourselves. So we're just going back out the same way we got in. It's just out now it's flooding with guys. That's after Lara because she's got part of the sword. So yep, just pull this out and push this one forward. There we go. And then grab this one. And then we've got to basically do the same thing we did on the other side. Which is just to jump over it. Pull this out. And basically. <laughs> basically sounded like Deji now. Like when he says basically. <laughs> if you don't know Deji, he used to be known as Comedy Shorts Gamer. He used to he used to say things like basically every time he starts a video. <laughs> but yeah, that's not important right now. Let's just focus on what we're supposed to do. Oh, he scared the jeepers out of me, man. Oh, dude, you don't you don't do that, man. Okay, um, I I'm starting to think which gun I should pick up. That's a shotgun I got now, so. Does he have a shotgun there? I don't think he does. I think there's a guy down here. Yep. There you go. Shot him dead. And there is door number three. So we push this all the way back again. There we go. And then this door opens. And there's your gold secret. So that is all the secrets. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> okay. Let's not get too ahead of myself. Like, because I've still got to climb out of this place. We just push this button. Trigger babe style. And I think there's another guy here and there's two guys after him. Oh, why did I jump that way? All right, let's not do the same stupid mistake again. Why again? Oh, I forgot to pick the gold thing up. Dang it. Oh. And it, is there a way to get back down? Please say there's a way to get back down. I'm just going to have to kill myself, aren't I? Yep. Lovely. I swear there's a thingy here that you're supposed to jump. Yeah, it's right there, look. Right, there we go. Let me shoot you dead. And there's two guys past this, I think. There's a doggy here. I don't like, I don't like shooting dogs, man. What, whose idea was it to make it think, oh, you can shoot dogs, man? I don't, I don't like it at all. And then we're going to get this doggy here. There we go. Okay. Now. I swear there was another guy back here that I killed. Yep, he's got a gun, which is sweet. All right, and I think there's two guys left here. Because I know there's two. Oh, jeez. There we are. Okay, uh, uh, get you first. And then get you. This is the only way I know how to deal with these guys, so. There we are. That, that's how I know to deal with them anyway, because they're quite tricky then. And that's the way out, I think. There's two guys up there, I think. Yep, these are the last two guys. Hey, what's going on?
Hello, lads. Hey, Lara. What's up? They didn't make off with your credit cards, did they? Is everything all right? Alistair? I'm fine. I'm fine. Just uh, not my usual evening routine. Then let's go home. And finally, we are done with this level. Okay. New outfits. Yeah, great. So, yep. Yeah, apparently, that's taken me 32 and a half minutes to beat, which is rubbish because I think I've been at this longer than that. And, yep, yeah, we've got all the secrets. So, that has been England, King Arthur's Tomb. So, yep. Yeah, that is it for this this episode and that's going to conclude this video so thank you so much for watching and as per usual if you liked what you've seen please like comment and subscribe and remember to hit the bell if you want to see any more videos or any more live streams that me or brad produce on this channel i've been kieran of gaming weekly update and we will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching and goodbye